Swar Shop. There's this place that movie fan and there are so many movies I wanted to watch. Just as Do Little, The New Grotz Remake, The Gentleman, Fantasy Island, Nicolo the Wild, Invisible Man, Onward. Those are all movies that I would much rather review than this one. However, I made a promise that I would make my favorite and worst movies of 2019 before the end of March. And I'm staking that promise. So on March, I can do nothing but review 2019 movies that I think they get a chance to review during the year. Now before I dive into talking about this movie, I'm gonna quickly go over my opinion on the original one. It's a great movie. In fact, it's one of my favorite horror movies of all time. Anyway, I have been told that this remake is actually better than the average horror movie remake. And after having seen it, well, yes it is. Now I'm gonna compare this movie a lot to the classic. So as it is one of my favorite horror movies of all time, like I said. Anyway, the first character that I'm gonna talk about is Andy Markley, played by Gabriel Bateman. Yeah, I'm gonna have to be honest with you. Looking back, the boy in the first Child's Play movie wasn't a very good character. We barely know much about him. So that's something that this movie improved on for sure. In this movie, Andy is actually interesting and we know a lot about him. We know he is obsessed with games, mainly mobile games, which is this movie's attempt to modernize itself, which really works. Now he doesn't have many friends and he is pretty geeky. He has some friends in the movie, but he is still awkward, like I shared. That makes him very interesting. Now then, the next character I'm gonna talk about is Chucky, played by Mark Hamill. Yeah, I'm gonna have to be honest, Chucky is a better character than the original one. Chucky is a little bit scary in this movie, but not by a whole lot. Instead of being a dull little life that nobody knows about, he's literally advertised as being someone with a mind of his own. And that really ruins the scariness of him to me. Apparently, he's an AI, which I must point out is not modernizing the movie at all. That was very common even back when the original Child's Play movie was out. Hell, the existence of the Terminator is proof of what I'm talking about. So no, making the doll an AI doesn't modernize the doll at all. I will admit though, that I do find the scenes where Chuck and Bertie are friends to be very interesting. They have a good connection with each other and legitimately are fucking friends. And you know, I really like that. We didn't see any of that at all in the original Child's Play movie. So even though this movie isn't nearly as great as the original, it still is good in some other ways. Seeing those two together was fucking awesome. Now although I think this movie is very good overall, there's one thing about it which I find incredibly fucking stupid. And that's when some of the characters say, he's a doll, he can't be alive. Are you fucking kidding me? The doll is literally advertised as being a living doll. So how the hell can anybody miss that? It's so painfully fucking dumb. With that said, I can ignore that and enjoy the rest of the movie, which I do. Now it's time for my own and all thoughts. This is not one of my favorite movies of the year, 2019, not by a long shot. But it means to do something that very few horror remakes manage to do. It actually improved on an aspect of the original one and managed to be good on its own merits. There are extremely few horror movies that I can think of that do either, let alone both. And for that I'm going to give it a rating 2 thumbs up. You have reached the end of the video, thank you for watching and have a great day.